You guys already know that I'm trying to find balling on a budget fragrances. And when I went to the Max Aroma event with Ja, I smelled a couple of fragrances that frankly, don't remember at all. Blame it on four whiskeys and numerous glasses of champagne, courtesy of Ja trying to get me into a small stage of alcohol poisoning. So I told Max Aroma, send me these fragrances. Let me test them out in my comfortable space so I can actually remember them because they're not badly priced. Let's roll my motherfucking music so we can check out some fragrances from Nino Amadeo. Blessed morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy, c 3 u 3 a Truth be told, the name Nino Amadeo sounds like a sanitation worker living in Staten Island. I don't know who this is, don't know the brand at all. I just know that these are 100 mLs for 125 bucks before any sort of discount. So, are they good? I don't remember. We're gonna check them out here. So they sent me three fragrances to check out and I'm gonna give you my honest opinion on them. If I like it, I like it. If I don't, I don't. If my opinion changes later in time, that tends to happen with a bunch of fragrances. That's just what it is. So do whatever the fuck you want with that information. So I got three fragrances. This name is fantastic. Sen Flamer? What? Sen Flamer, yes, bitch. All right, this one is called Catch Me If You Can. Homage to the movie? I don't know. And this one is called Cure Super B or Superb. I can't read. Let's start with Cure because I'm assuming this is going to be some leathery shit. I'll look up the notes, but we just want to know what it smells like. I love the price point $125 for 100 ml. We'll see. It could be worth fucking $5. We don't fucking know. So this is what we're here to do. Smell the shit, give you my true interpretations of this shit and see if this is good for 125 bucks or it should be $1.99. Who fucking knows? Cause Nino, we don't know what Nino we don't. All right, so I got a test strip here. Here's what the bottles look like. Guerlain, fancy, Dior-ish kind of vibe. We'll see what the shit, we'll see what's what. It's all about the juice at the end of the day again and the price. I mean, again, 125 bucks. I mean, I'm feeling that. There we go. Let's see what Cure Super B or Superb is like. Oh, this is fucking not bad at all, actually. Wow, there is a smoky cigarette leather vibe out of this fragrance that's really present. Like, smells a little ashtray-ish. I'm not gonna hold you. I 100% don't remember this because this ashtray leathery smell would have absolutely caught my attention. There's some hidden citrus in there really trying to poke through the tapped out cigarette smell. This is like leathery Juliet has a gun uh, cigarette fragrance. This 100% smells like somebody fucking named Nino who was just sitting on his rocking chair on his porch after a 14 hour shift of washing off gunk and shit all over himself getting away from his wife while she makes the steak and prepares him a fucking scotch. It's not bad. It's definitely, definitely different. Okay, I wanna look at the notes. Interesting notes. Fig, bergamot, blackcurrant, hazelnut, floral, fruity notes, ozonic, iris, leather, labdanum, oud, and vetiver. I'm a fig fan. I don't get fig. Hazelnut, I do get. Now that it's said out loud, I, I get the hazelnut, I get blackcurrant, I get bergamot. Floral, fruity, a little bit. Leather, yeah. Oud, nah. Vetiver, nah. Ozonic, yes. Iris, minimal. Let me try it on skin. I really want to pop fig. I love fig. I don't know, I don't get fig. All right, on skin, that first spray is a little chemical. Okay, so it lasts for a couple of seconds as far as that chemical smell. I do get some earthiness from the opening. I don't know if I would pinpoint it as fig though. It's more leathery and cigarette smoke kind of. The fruitiness definitely pops a little bit more off of my skin. I love the uniqueness of the fragrance. I don't love the fragrance. I like the uniqueness of the fragrance. You gotta see how it dries down. All right, let's move on to the next one. So we're gonna go with Catch Me If You Can next. All right, let's see what this shit does. In the air right now, the, the cure is actually smelling pretty decent, to be honest with you. Yeah. It's catching more attention now. I like the unique factor about it. 
not a jaw-dropping fragrance at all, but it's definitely unique as shit. All right. Whoops. All right, same presentation. Catch me if you can. Blue bottles. Love the color of the bottle. Spray this on test strip. The cure is definitely smelling a lot better in the air. A lot better in the air. It just needs some time to do something. All right, let's go right into Catch Me If You Can. Okay. It's cute. It's got a DNA that we're recognizing. This is in that Prada Luna Rosa kind of space. Mass appealing. Also, it's got a little Aventus-ish kind of bergamot pineapple blend that's really coming up now. Yeah, this is Prada Luna Rosa mixed with a little Aventus-ish kind of vibe. Mass appealing as fuck. Let me look up the notes on this one because I'm getting Aventus-y vibes. Yeah, it's got Aventus-y vibes. Pink pepper, cassis, bergamot, apple, lily of the valley, patchouli, amber, cedar, musk. Aventus with a hint of Prada Luna Rosa kind of. Yeah, this is an Aventus space for 125 bucks. I don't know what the performance is like. I'll do a quick spray up here. The cure is growing on me. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, the cure is, it's growing on me. It's growing on me. It took a minute, but it's growing on me because I keep going back to it for some reason. I like the uniqueness of it. This one, I, I know this one's not gonna be. Yeah, no, no. If you're looking for an Aventus alternative, I don't know what the performance is of this shit. This is very much uh, a Prada Luna Rosa aventus with a little bit of spice. I mean, like the, a dribble but it's in the events of space. Nah. Next one. Next one is Senflamer. Oh, I'm, gonna get, I'm gonna get canceled for that. Just the name. This is a funny fucking name. All right, cool. Let's see what this shit is about. So, so far, catch me if you can. Aventus is for 125 bucks, which is meh. Nah. And the Cure Super Beat, it's taking me some time, but I like the uniqueness. I like what it's doing in the air. It's, it's doing shit in the air. It's really knocking out the Aventus portion of the yellow joint, so that's a plus. I wasn't loving it at first, but it's definitely growing on me. I think the Cure one I need to show a little bit more love to throughout time and see how it does on my skin. Catch me if you can, doesn't interest me. All right, Sen Flamer. Let's see what's up with Sen Flamer. Okay, that is different. Gingerbread cookie, airy citrus. Spice balmy, spice balmy, ginger, like gingerbread. I gotta check that on skin. That's actually not bad. It's got, it's got spice bomb vibes, but it's got a, also like a sweet gingerbread cookie. It's got spice bombish ginger cookie. White floral, the spice is coming through. Maybe licorice. Let's look up the notes. All right, so the notes are fruity notes, herbal notes, spices, ylang ylang, jasmine, rose, amber, tonka bean, woody notes, musk. Fruity notes, yes, herbal, a little bit. Spices, 100%. White, the jasmine, I get. Rose, not prominent. Amber, yes. Amber and tonka, yes. And woody notes, for sure. That isn't bad. I kind of like that one. It's really a toned down, less spicy, spice bomb, ginger cookie vibes, and the white floral is pretty present here, but it isn't an offensive or overly strong fragrance in a good way. All right, I mean, this shit ain't bad. I mean, this one, Cure Super B, or Queer Super B, it's definitely the one that's growing on me the most. It's got a lot of unique factor, that cigarette smoke, that ashy put out cigarette, that shit is fucking growing on me. This needs some more wear. Secondly, it would be the Schen Flamer, which is spice bomb adjacent in that space. So Cure Super B would be the one that it's the one that caught most of my attention. And Catch Me and You Can is just a Ventus clone. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. Again, these shits are 125 bucks. There's a bunch of discounts going on, especially right now. So give them a shot. See if you want to try them out. Look up some other. They got like fucking 14 of these shits. And Nino's going to need it because he's going to fucking retire soon. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is biggest in the game. Smooches.
fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. Uh, for the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would... <laughs>